Ice Sketch Craft Podcast. We back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. Hey man, listen. Today we're gonna be reacting to what most Steph said about Drake. You know what I'm saying? Yasef, uh, whatever his name is, Yasef Bay, Yusef Bay. We're gonna react to what he said about Drake. So we be back. Who raised you? Oh my god, this is so hard. Oh! Oh my god. That last bar was crazy. Oh my god. Uh, children are too young to make those type of choices for themselves. You know, that's why they have parents. Oh, eat each other. What? Yo, I can't understand it neither. All right, yeah, man, listen. So, before we get into that, link's on the screen. If you want to donate to the Sketchpad, Cash App's right there. You know what I'm saying? Thank y'all for all y'all donations. And look, if you don't, just share the content. We good with that, too. Listen, man, I did an episode by myself talking about this. And there's certain things that I said, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to, go over in this whole uh, episode here and we're gonna have a little back and forth a little debate on who's the better rapper you know what i'm saying my man got some ideas here i got some ideas on why i believe so we're gonna come back so look let's get into what he said and then we're, um, um, we're gonna talk about it in in depth detail so let's go like is drake hip-hop Why are you doing this to me? Drake is pop to me. In the sense, like, if I was in Target in Houston and I heard a Drake song, it feels like a lot of his music is compatible with shopping. <laughs> Commercial music. Or it's, or it's you know, music. shopping with an edge in certain instances. Fair. I like Drake's music, but I understand exactly what you're saying. Of course. I mean, it's, I, I, I it's get It's commercial, it. entertaining, fun, it's, good, it's, formulaic music. It's likable. Likable music, yeah. It's likable. Um, but is it... You know, I'm going to leave you alone. We're going to move. We're going to move on. Um... <laughs> so many, so many products. So many so, skews. So many skews. <laughs> Look at all these skews. Oh, so many products. So much merchandising. So oh, many barcodes. I love this mall. <laughs> Look at this place. I mean, look at this place. They have everything. Everything's here. They have everything here. Oh, this is great. This is a new Drake. You hear it? It's great. Okay. What happens when this thing collapses? What happens when the columns start buckling? Are we not in some early stage of that at this present hour? Are we seeing like the collapse of the empire? Buying and selling, where's the message that I can use? Right. You know, what's in it for your audience apart from like banging the pom poms? All right. So, yeah, explain your side. See what you got. What, what, what you think? All right. So, <laughs> excuse me. Uh, after, after watching the vid, um, I'm gonna say this. Uh, he's styling a lot. Um, now we can't say Drake is not hip hop. You know what I'm saying? We can't say he's not hip hop. Because he's using the elements of hip hop. He's rapping. You know what I'm saying? That's one element right there. Now, he might venture off into other elements that have nothing to do with hip hop, but his foundation, where he started, was hip hop. So you got to give him, you, you, you have to give him that, you know what I'm saying, right off the jump. Now, I know what he's saying. He's saying that he's commercial that his music can be everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So that's what he meant. 
he didn't know how, I, I guess he didn't know how to articulate it properly because she kind of put him on the spot. But then again, like it wasn't really on the spot because you're being interviewed. So you're probably aware that some questions like this are going to come about. So you're probably going to know that something like this, she's going to ask you. Now, uh, I feel like he should just been bluntly honest. Like, I feel like he shouldn't have just straggled against the fence. Like, if you feel he's not hip hop, just say he's not hip hop. You know what I mean? Straight like that. For me, I feel he's hip hop. It wouldn't be fair for me to not say he's hip hop because he raps. Rap is an element of hip hop. There's other things, fashion, the way he carries himself. That's all hip hop. That's all elements of hip hop, the culture itself. So he's hip hop. For him to say that he's pop, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Because he does venture out into other genres. But that just that's what makes him so extraordinary. That's what broadens his horizon. You know what I'm saying? Because he can tap in to other resources and gravitate and draw in other fans. You know what I'm saying? Whether they're pop, R&B, whatever. He can draw in other people. You know what I mean? Um, as far as most deaf, you know, like I was saying before, I feel like with most deaf, he only uses one element, and that's the rapping side. Uh, I never heard a most deaf R&B record. You know what I'm saying? Probably would never hear that. Like, I never heard anything with most deaf on the radio besides like maybe one or two, three songs. There's probably more, but I haven't heard anything from most deaf on the radio. And that's not to say that he's not great. He's excellent. You know what I'm saying? But he's excellent at one capability, and that's rapping. You know what I'm saying? When you add the other nooks and crannies of what, you know what I'm saying, music is, he doesn't venture out into those. And I don't know if that's his fault or if that's his fans' fault because they, you know, they liked him for who he is or whatever. I don't know. But I'm just saying, like, for me, he does one element great, and that's rapping. I haven't heard nothing else. If we're talking about radio, it wouldn't be fair to put Drake versus against his verses because he most deaf ain't on the radio like that. We hear Drake on the radio, like, every single day. There's not one time that I can't turn on the radio and don't hear a Drake song. I'm going to hear a Drake song at least once or twice throughout the day. It's programmed right into the radio as far as, like, the streams. Like, you're going to hear Drake. If you don't hear Drake, you're going to hear somebody affiliated with him. But you're going to hear Drake. You know what I'm saying? I, I you know, I mean, what I mean, what, what else can I say? You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I guess, you know what I'm saying? Like, he has his gripes on what he feel Drake is. And, you know what I mean? He's entitled to that, but. I feel like, you know, I mean, if you felt like this is who he is, then you just say it. You know what I'm saying? Don't strike on this fence because now, now it seems like you, you know what I mean? You kind of like, no, nah, I, I don't want to say hating because I don't think he's a hater, but I just feel like he's kind of like straggling against the fence. You know what I'm saying? You know, but hey, I don't know. All right. Uh, <laughs> listen. So, can you hear me? Can you hear me? One, two, one, two, one, two. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> um, look. This is hate. And from both parties, from her and him, right? The disrespect in what he said may come off as him being clever in his wording but it was still disrespectful for him to do that. Mm. For you to say that his music is compared to shopping is nuts. <laughs> That's nuts. <laughs> right? And I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you why. <laughs> you basically are saying that, that Drake has no music that influenced anybody or done anything to change anybody's life. And that scat like a motherfucker. There's plenty of Drake songs 
that actually help people. And who who are you to say what is hip hop and what's not? Who made you the gatekeeper of what's hip hop and what's not? You're not even you're not even the most relevant backpacker or conscious rapper. <laughs> you're not even in the top ten of the most conscious rapper. Well, maybe top ten. He might be in top ten, but. And this all stems from you have a problem with Drake because he said some things about you, not about you, but he just basically said he didn't want someone of your ilk, girls of your ilk to read some of his poems. He wants some airhead girls to read it, basically. You know what I'm saying? But to get deeper into what he's talking about, he used that as a catalyst Drake as a catalyst to try to say that music as a whole has this underlying issue and we are somehow he he figured it out he figured it out and us as normal people don't know what's going on for real because he knows what the underlying issue is he knows And and he and he sneakily put that in there and he started talking about the Middle East. The girl asked you about Drake. And somehow you turned it into about the Middle East. Which makes no sense to me. Right? That's, num- that's number, num- number one. Number two, what really bothered me is I hate when people talk about other people to people as if everybody's dumb. Like, we all know that Drake has popish music or he's pop, but let's be clear here. Hip hop is pop. Hip hop is the most popular genre in the world. It's pop music. Jay Z has pop songs, Eminem has pop songs. I wish she would have asked him, How do you feel about Jay Z? And I could almost guarantee, matter of fact, how you feel about Eminem? I can almost guarantee that he would have not said that Eminem is pop. He wouldn't. Right. Because Ruckus Records, uh, uh, Lyricist Lounge, all of them, back then, they, they, they kind of revolted against the normal. Even, even with, they kind of revolted against the normal hip-hop. Even street hip-hop. Well, you know, M was M was had a. He was in the lyrics. Off- I know. I yeah. un- understand. That's why I brought that up. Yeah. But Eminem, arguably, is the biggest artist rapper of all time. So you're mm. gonna say he's pop too? You wouldn't have said that, nah. because that's your boy. This mm. is why I call. This is why I call hypocrite and uh, and and him him with 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 the with the goofy shit. Now, some of the stuff that he said, because I watched the whole interview, I agree with. You know what I'm saying? It not a, not t- not particularly about Drake. He said a lot of stuff that I think needed to be said in the interview. But you using Drake's success and try to use it against him, right? My thing is, if you didn't like the way the hip hop is structured and how you feel as though that there's a there is a a deeper meaning to shit and there's a beast under the ground that they cover it up and we are all on top of the beast and we don't know it. And it's going to collapse sooner or later. If you feel like that, then how come you stop doing music? Why haven't you done anything to combat that? This is the issue that I have with niggas like him is because they talk, but they never have no solutions. All they do is talk. How come you haven't done nothing to combat that? This and Drake is not combating anything that you think that's going to stop people from listening to him. And then what really bothers me is the fact that you put all this weight on Drake as if he is the one that's holding hip hop up. You're saying, well, what happens if this thing collapses? What do you mean? How are you putting that on him? He's he's doing exactly what. He should be doing making money the same way you did something to make money. 
you may have a different moral standard or different way of uh uh how would i say this a different way of going about it but let's be clear here if you're gonna blame drake for being pop and saying that it might collapse but what about all the rappers from the 90s who did nothing but talk about hoes clothes cars bitches uh uh killing all that so they didn't contribute to the hip-hop collapsing either huh that's what you're saying so why not call them out because they're much more detrimental to the black community than what drake is doing when he's doing pop songs like hotline bling who gives a shit you got niggas talking about throw your guns in the air and buck buck like you just don't care but you're not calling that out you're calling out a guy who sings on hooks that's my issue that i have with most deaf is he's the person that complain but never have no solutions shut the fuck up if you're going to complain have solutions matter of fact don't even complain just come with solutions say hey you know what instead of me saying drake is shopping with an edge or he is or 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 uh, target whatever how about this how about me and drake have a rap battle and see who's better let's do that but you won't step in the booth with the ball not to say that you might be lyrically some people think you're lyrically better than drake i disagree i disagree i think that when it comes to the technical aspect you rap one way, most rap maybe two, maybe two ways. How many, and I'm going to ask you, and then I'm just going to let you answer, then I'm going to continue. How many flows have you ever heard from Drake? I ain't going far. I heard multiple flows. I've heard a double time. I've heard uh, I've heard a slow flow. I've heard punch punchlines. I've heard metaphoric flows. Like I'm, I've even heard him sing and rap at the same time on some Nelly stuff. So, so look, I, so I say yeah. that I say that to say this, but not any shape or form am I dissing most deaf and saying that he's not a good artist. He's an excellent artist. I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is you have a chance to actually do something about it. Cause see, this is my thing. If you're gonna come for the king. You got to kill the king. You can't just come for the king. Drake's the king right now. Let's be clear here. He's the king. Just like the king of pop. People came for Mike. Rappers are coming for him. Now, we might not like his last couple of albums. They might have been trash, right? But some would argue that most last album was trash. So what, what are we doing here? Again, I get the whole metaphor behind what he's saying. It's a deeper meaning. I understand exactly what Most Def is saying. But my issue with people like Most Def, and it's always going to be this way, is they always complain but never have no solutions. What, what happens if this thing collapses? What are you going to do about it if it collapses, Most Def? What, let's, let's talk about that. Instead of you saying, what happens if this thing collapses? Are you going to hold it up? <laughs> what are we doing because if you well, say i don't well, understand not, it well not to cut you off and some people might say that it already collapsed and, and and got picked back up i mean like just years ago nas had an album called hip-hop was dead <laughs> no listen bro let's be clear here right let's be clear here yeah, so. most rappers most rappers yeah. it's funny i'm saying most right most rappers, right, will trade anything to be in Drake's place. He would. I don't care what he's talking about. He would. He would say, oh, he's rich. He has money. No. For him to be that known, he would trade places quickly. Here's the thing. And this is why, this, this is what, this is why and I'm going to end this. This is why I say that Drake is a better artists than him right if you put most deaf on any drake beats right it's gonna yeah, be okay 
But if Drake decided to rap over, which he should do, if he rapped over all most deaf beats and did songs to him, it'd be better. To me. That's to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But it is what it is, man. So, I don't know. Yeah, I, I I agree. I agree with you, hundred. I agree with you, hundred and ten percent. You know what I mean? So, yeah. yeah. All right, well, I'm under this right now. All right. Yeah. All right. <laughs>